Firstly, and um, maybe most importantly, I want to thank Elaine for once again leading us in a beautiful service with a moving homily. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and then I just um, want to let everybody know that our annual meeting will occur in just a moment right here. Um, and then we have a little enhanced uh, lemonade stand outside on the way out with a few sandwiches and other goodies. Um, Bill Petrie and Tyler Knowles will just come up and just say a brief word about varied topics. Bill? My name is Bill Petrie, and I'm a longtime parishioner here. And I wanted to speak to you shortly uh, about St. Francis Outreach and outreach with other organizations in the community. In the 90s, when AIDS was quite prevalent, we got a call that a young man was dying in New York of AIDS and had been put out of his apartment. His family lived in Brooklyn, Maine, and the Brooklyn Fire Department Rescue Squad went to New York and picked him up. A summer resident in Brooklyn donated a house, and St. Francis, along with other organizations and individuals in the community, nursed and helped this man for a month till his time came. St. Francis and the other organizations provided a hot meal every day. When uh, Jude died, very peacefully at the house that was provided. The church that he had grown up in as a child would not give him last rites because of AIDS. It would not perform the service. Our church here stepped in, gave him a lovely service and reception. And I hope that you might keep this in mind when you fill out your pledge card this year to keep St. Francis alive and our outreach within our own church, but within the greater community. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone because the young man from Afghanistan, as well as the two students from the Ukraine, have now arrived here in Blue Hill. Mahi, the one from Afghanistan, came to stay with me last Sunday and he's been there until I put him into the dorm on Thursday. And I have to tell you that he's a blessing. He's a blessing to all of us. He's the most grateful, darling, loving young man I've, I've practically ever met in my life. But I want to thank everyone here who's made it possible for these three young men to come to the United States, out of war-torn countries, out of the fall of Kabul, away from the, away from the Taliban. And I hope that at some point you could go to the dorm and meet these young men and the other people from eight countries, I think. But at any rate, I just wanted to thank you because it's these communities, your community, the communities of the whole Blue Hill Peninsula that's made it possible. Thank you.